Good friend Shane from HotterWrench.com and you may have saw a short that directed you this video that talked about when doing fork seals it's quite often someone says oh yeah I just had fork seals replaced and I just hate not being the one to do the job because the reality is to do a set of forks there's a lot of things you want to think about. Hey friend smash that subscribe button it really helps us. Also we lay lists on here for you. And then we started out in the time slot. a lot of the videos. You can jump around and get right to the information you want. And then we even start adding captions so you can pick your language. Enjoy the video. One of the things that you want to think about is that when these are assembled, we're just kind of laying our parts out right now. We're going to organize it even better. But every time you stop the motorcycle and you grab that brake, there's binding here. Okay, so these two parts are going to, you know, bind with braking and they're going to bind with acceleration, okay? And to mitigate that, as the sliders go up and down, there's a couple different bushings. There's what they call an upper and lower bushing. So you got one that rides on here and then you have another one that sits down on here, right? So this fork rides through here and this one here. And quite often when I get these apart, if you want to come closer here, you're going to see something just like this. You could see this war one. It's not the end of the world. This was caught in time, I'd say, where it was just the coating that came off. It's like a Teflon coating. And so you're looking at this outside surface on here, and then the one that was on the outside, you'd really look at the inside surface is where that coating would, would wear off, right? So here's the deal. You don't have any idea if this stuff is bad until you take it apart. So you gotta think, well, this stuff could be pretty expensive. So let's say I buy two OEM inner bushings and two outer bushings. It wouldn't be uncommon to dump 50, 60 bucks, sometimes even more into, into those parts that you may not need. So it comes down to what, what would you say most shops do? Well, I say a lot of shops aren't even changing this stuff. They're just getting it in and out the door. And, and that's just a reality we see. So if you ever can afford the time to pull your own forks, that's really nice for the shop because then they can just use their specialty tools like the drivers and everything else, and then they could get them apart and go, hey, it needs more parts. That's one way you could save yourself some money just taking your forks off. But here's the big reason we made this video for this Triumph. So when we got in here, Bias here brought me his parts. I said, hey, you're missing these. He said, nope, can't get them. I'm like, no, whatever. So we go the parts fish and sure enough, we go and look it up and the only way you could get this bushing was to buy the whole fork tube with it and it was like 250 or 300 bucks or something like that. Do you remember what it was? 250. 250, okay. So to get these bushings would mean $500 in parts. Now one of these with a the tiny little rock chip in there, maybe, maybe not, right? But this is something you need to think about is that most people, you know, it, it gets to a point with some, especially older bikes, where you're going to junk the bike over a set of forks. You're not going to put $1,000 into forks by the time you do labor, a couple sets of tubes. I mean, if you're at $500 right here, and then you're doing seals and oil and labor, it would not, it would not be uncommon to see a seven, dollars $800 bill pretty easy. And like I said, that would junk a lot of vehicles out there. So one cool thing that we found that is a solution to this is all balls. So All Balls makes a service kit here. Now this is not the fork seals. They have separate kits for that. So if you're doing this, you gotta know, well, am I just doing a like a the oil seal and the dust seal? That would be one traditional kit. But what this has here is it came with all the bushings, the crush washers, it came with everything in here. Even got some stickers. <laughs> but this is pretty handy as a single source part number for uh, just getting everything you need as far as the internals. Now it actually came with extra pieces because that one kit fits multiple different models. So my caution there is you gotta be really careful to compare up the parts that are in there with what you actually need. But what's gonna be great about this is we're gonna be able to get Tobias's uh, Triumph here back in perfect working order to be this far apart and to have to put a less than perfect part in kind of sucks, especially when it's inexpensive. How much was that all bowls kit? Uh, about 40 bucks. 40 bucks, yeah. okay. So that's one thing I wanna talk about. And then another thing you wanna think about when you're doing suspension, it's a great place to improve the bike. Great place. People wanna throw exhaust on, make them loud. One thing I say is like, spend money on suspension. You're gonna make the bike so much more enjoyable to ride. So we've come up with a couple different things. We're putting a pair of progressive springs in here. And then also going to set the bike up for his weight. Uh, obviously putting some performance oil in there. 
And then the other thing that's really cool in this Triumph that he found as an accessory was where you could do an external preload adjuster. And what's so great about that is these kits, they're only a guess at best. You know, I mean, I, I'm trying to say this and make it, not make it sound bad, but when they make the kits, they come up with the spring rates. They say, well, this should be good for, you know, a 200 pound rider, right? Well, the, the problem is depending how you ride dramatically affects that, right? If you're a really aggressive rider and you're honking on that suspension, that's not going to have the same outcome as the person just cruising along. So sometimes you're going to want to be able to set that up stiffer. You might want to change you know, the fork oil level, the weight of the fork oil, or simply be able to add preload. Well, this is stinking cool. This is a cool accessory because now he could get in here and stiffen it up or loosen it just at least on the preload externally. When you buy this kit, you know, a spring kit, you just end up getting a long piece of PVC pipe that they say, okay, we recommend to cut this to three inches. It was in this case, or 75 millimeters. But the, sometimes people will take the steel tube and just cut it down, but you're gonna come up with this, but then you're married to it. The only way you can make that adjustment is to disassemble the fork, pull that spacer back out and cut it. So that's why when you see higher performance motorcycles that have this adjustability in there, that's a pretty fun thing to play with and get the bike to really handle better for you. So one thing to think about in that case too is where we had this aftermarket preload adjuster we had to take out this difference in what that recommended uh, three inches was so what we did is we took this aftermarket spacer and our adjuster if you will and we just put it in the middle of its range so what that's gonna allow Tobias to do is see if he goes you know what I didn't really like that three inches from here to here he's gonna be able to go in there and go hey I want to soften it or I want to tighten it and now he's taken that and providing some flexibility by using the middle of the range of this adjuster you know use your guidelines for your manufacturers they might you know already know like hey we know that our middle of the spec is for a 180 pound rider then you know like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this direction. But like you said with these, they didn't come with any directions. A matter of fact, they were even assembled wrong when we started looking at it. We were like, wait a second, that's just gonna pop right off. So we kind of had to do some playing on that to get that in order. But those are my tips for just thinking about what you need to check and what parts and whatnot when doing your front forks. Often forgot about are those bushings. All right, my friends, make sure and like, share, subscribe, and make it a great day and keep wrenching. Hey friends, we're super excited to announce that the How to Wrench channel has been approved for memberships. What's that mean for you? What would it look like member only content? Many of you have been asking over the last years surveys that you missed the old deep dive long videos and the real explain content. Those are very hard to produce and they're very costly. They take an immense amount of time, especially to make it uh, creative and interactive for you to get that deep understanding. We have a lot of schools, institutions, do-it-yourselfers, I mean, people from all over the world in over 200 countries are using our content to get a deep understanding to help themselves or to advance in their career. Well, those videos back, that's the kind of content that's going to go in this membership channel because we can offset some of those costs. So that's one, you're going to get the deep dive videos. Two, you're going to get access to member only streams and live chats to where you can actually call in, ask questions and get answers on the spot and have a, a back and forth Q&A session with other members as well. We're super excited about that. And with the member channel it's going to really make it more intimate we're going to be able to bring that back into more of a community instead of all the yahoos out there that are just causing trouble and being idiots this community is always and getting those answers to the questions we need you got to remember i love youtube too when i want to learn something it's quite often one of my first go-to places to get information or to learn something that so we love that we can do this for you as well and we just want to make this of a community that is more attentive so we want to be more relationship focused the other thing is youtube does this i think it's kind of funny but we're doing the emojis so if you're a new member it's going to be a green one we kind of went along the lines of like a training does in most uh certification programs bronze is your entry level a silver is your middle of the road and then gold is your you know top certified but we added one more we added a red one just to say hey thanks for all the love after you've been here for a while so for all you that love that kind of stuff hey it's there for for you um, what else are you gonna get with this what you're gonna get is really honestly in, in my opinion it's really a way just to say thank you we've tried really hard over the years to figure out creative ways to not 
vague, if you will, but to try and encourage and remind people that, hey, I time job, like I do this and have always done this on my own buck, all the own. As I move to this new location, Phoenix, it's really expensive. It costs a lot to be able to do all this and we really do need your help to offset. For you to really easily just say thank you and create that, you know, like I said, that deeper relationship with us as well to get the answers that you want and you need. So with that being said, I hope this has caught your attention. Look at the options below on the join. You hit that join button, it'll tell you what tiers. You can figure out what works best for you. We're already gonna start moving forward making content that's member only. So I hope that you're working on something that's making you smile or that you're getting through it or that's making you money. So we're gonna get back at it. But as always, make it a great day and keep wrenching.